just left for a solo sail to islands up north. Um, going downwind right now. There's the city. Looks really nice. And uh, it's gonna be a long journey. For a solo sail, it's about three, three days of sailing. Montrose Marina. So we're going. I'm going from here all the way over there. It'll be a nice journey. So not much, not much wind right now. Um, 13 true downwind. It's picking up a little bit before it was 15 and not necessarily the direction I want to go yet. Uh, so I'm going doing 50 degrees right now, but I need to head north. Um, so I'm gonna jive at some point, but I need to get a little bit further out. Day two of the sail to solo sail to uh, the islands up north on Lake Michigan. There's a sailboat crossing ahead of me. It's still not exactly going the direction I want to. I'm going north, but I want to go northeast. So eventually I'm going to jibe again and head that direction. That looks pretty. Not moving very fast right now. The wind has died down a little bit and I'm still going downwind. So there is a weather system that it's passing by uh, up in Sheboygan, so further up north and it's going kind of northeast. So as I jibe, I'm gonna be right behind it, so hopefully avoiding any of it. And it is about 12.30 now. All right, so it's almost two o'clock now. You can really nicely see Milwaukee from here. And I did my jibe and also the wind picked up. So now we're heading northeast or north and east, but but we have some east component. Beautiful day. Um, and it will just continue like that for a while. Get ready to uh, make some lunch, but I have this old fashioned um, uh, sparkling water maker. So I just gonna, I don't know if I can hold it and do it at the same time, but I just gonna pop that, pop that in, put it in the fridge, and I gonna have a nice, nice sparkling water. Um, yeah, and Spam is my favorite on the boat, cold with a tomato. <laughs> All right. So now it's 5.20, still second day. Beautiful clouds. Uh, wind has picked up and I'm going in the right direction. Um, I'm testing a new microphone too. So we'll see how that's gonna how that's gonna work. Um, and here is something actually Rafa made. This is a 3D printed stopper for the hydro vein, for the control line. So that's uh, pretty cool. Um, I have a couple here that I purchased a long time ago, and they were about some dollars I think this was just the cost of plastic in the printer 
the waves have picked up. Um, there are two, three footers, occasional four. And I think they're supposed to pick up to even higher, especially as I will get to the middle of the lake. So we'll see. Uh, nonetheless, it's, it's beautiful. Seven fifteen. Uh, the swell started bouncing the boat left and right, starboard port, and it's a bit uncomfortable. Uh, I was trying to sleep, and that didn't uh, went well. But I have the moon. On one side, and I have a beautiful sunset on the other side. The wind is 18 to 20. It's just the swells that move, make the boat move, rock back and forth. Okay, um, I don't know if you're able to see anything. It's about 2.30 in the morning. And uh, looks like there is a storm coming. Um, oh, now you can see it. There you go. Yeah. So um, I uh, reefed uh, the mainsail. I uh, took the Yankee in and I put out the staysail. Um, and I'm hoping this is gonna pass me. So wind went almost to zero. It is like five knots. It's uh, 8 a.m. It was a busy night with the reefing and, and that storm. And there's this, I saw li lightning all around me pretty much, but really nothing. It, it must have been so pretty far away, it looked like it was. There's very heavy traffic right now. There's a lot of cargo ships. There's one. The entire night, there were, there were a lot of them. This was another one. Get some wind finally. There should be. The wind was in the forecast 15 to 20, and I should be in this area. So maybe just a matter of those clouds coming closer here or maybe in there, because I'm sure this generates quite a bit of wind. Now here is here is the other guy, but he's much closer now. There's there's another one behind him. Um, you can see it there. It's at night. I think there are five, five or six. It's a heavy traffic, a lot of them. I've just picked up some good wind. There is a ship that uh, I recorded earlier. I pulled out the sails. It's 10 knots true wind. So as I thought, as those clouds are coming closer and as I'm nearing them, there's, there's more wind. So let's hope it stays that way. Right. So, so far, I covered 228 nautical miles. And there is more to go.
So the swell really picked up. I don't think you can tell from this. It's blowing 20 now. sun has come out. It's a little chilly when there's just wind, but when the sun comes out, it's really nice. after 7 p.m. per day um, and it's been quite 
quite the ride. So I, I almost managed to, then I had to turn around, tack, and the uh, seas were very high, um, and they're still pretty high. Uh, supposed to go down to 20 knots, it's gusting to 30 right now. Salsa. Look at closely at this cloud. It's a guy laying on his belly with his arms wide open, blowing wind. Better day. So yesterday the waves were very very big. Coast Guard was uh, saying that there were 12 footers. Uh, if you go a bit bigger, um, it's heavy wind, 30 winds, and it's not stop. Uh, today there's still waves. It's very choppy. It's not as bad. <laughs> and I'm by the islands. So I am here. That's what I'm trying to get to. So um, should be there within uh, that clip about four hours. So I have to pack again and pack again to get there. Oh, I'm getting close. Throughout the video, I definitely had audio challenges. The new microphone wasn't working as I had hoped so. Later, uh, while editing the video, I tried to fix it, but I think I over-engineered it. So thanks for bearing with the sound. Close. 
There's South Manitou. Right at the front. I'm right, gonna go on its uh, southeast side for the anchorage. It's a bird dune point. Three hundred ninety-eight nautical miles covered right now. That's because of all the angling and all that stuff to get here with the winds I had. Almost here. It's about an hour, about an hour and a half to drop an anchor. Alright, it's uh, three o'clock. Very close. There is South Manitou. And you should be able to see lighthouse over there. So I'm just working my angle to get into the bay. Beautiful day. Thus far covered 405 nautical miles. of the wind and actually we're gonna hit the west side of North Manitou. That's North Manitou right there. Many hiking trails on North Manitou. My friends are already anchored over there. That's South Manitou. About 5.30 p.m. and I'm about four nautical miles. Ready? Oh. So I'm gonna be just in time for air anchoring. I'm gonna still have some daylight, which is good. Thus far, 425, 426 nautical miles sailed from Chicago. And this is North Manitou. So I'm slowly approaching them. I'm gonna anchor. Esperanza. Day five, still at anchor at North Manitou Island. It's absolutely beautiful. It's Esperanza.
old bonfire in North Manitou. This is fantastic. Doing a little video. You know, we were both a little tired. <laughs> I said this would be worth it. Oh, this is this is awesome. get better than this. You know, I've just realized we are an hour ahead over here. <laughs> I know. That's why we didn't come over at 9 o'clock our time. <laughs> oh, gosh. That's funny. For breakfast the other day. Right, right. Esperanza is the parting. So what you gotta watch out for is Dominic's uh, road, so we don't come right to it because it knows this. Is that can that help me? Right, leaving North Manitou. Heading for Beaver Island. Uh, taking the anchor out by myself wasn't easy, especially since I don't have windlass. Um, so that was quite an exercise. It took a long time, but I'm free. And underway. It's good. It's good to have wind in the sails again. Moving at 11 knots. Another ship is passing. It's September 6th. Uh, 5, 4 30 actually. 4 30, 4 30, yeah. Central time. So I'm on my way to Beaver now. There's a heavy traffic on Great Lakes. Nine six, six p.m. Making my way towards Beaver Island. Low wind. Doing about two point eight knots. Not much. Great legs are flying. I think that's South Fox in the distance is an island. It's very relaxing, flat, comfortable. I'm 
with some salad, big salad bowl. Tomatoes, cucumber, onion, goat cheese, olive oil, and feta. That's very good. Simple but good. All right, coming into St. James Harbor. It's uh, 2 30 a.m. Head to motor. There's absolutely zero wind. So there's our greeting marker. the harbor. St. James Harbor on Beaver Island. I arrived at 3 a.m. and I docked at the South Marina which um, where I said actually in the past there's a nice anchorage and the South Marina is there right by the ferry but the marina is closed so I had to move back to the North Marina which is not my favorite but it's not um, there's some sailboats there's a guy with a Valiant that sailed the Baltic and um, other uh, at the Atlantic and other, other North European uh, areas. So I'm gonna talk to him later. It's a little hot today. Very little wind. I came across this Irish pub and there's this really neat band playing so I want to play this for you guys a little bit uh, it was fun to listen to them I hope you'll enjoy it I wish I remembered the name of the band. I would like to include them in the credits. The Parading Beaver Marina for Garden Island. There's a boat of friends that I just made, Alchemy. They've been to Greenland with this boat. It's a beautiful Valiant. 
really great boat. Great people. There's a marker with a couple of cormorants on it. It's very shallow. Sun is trying to peak. distance over there is Whiskey Island. This is the Garden Island. Just arrived at the Garden Island and dropped the hook. No one is here. And maybe a boat on the other side of Little Island. I saw somebody going that direction, but I don't know if they actually went there or not. It makes me a little bit nervous being here by myself without a windlass, because I will have to pull this by hand. It's too easy. Well, that's the Garden Island, over here. Yeah, it's whiskey to the left. So I'm under anchor. I'm just watching my position. Alarm is set if I drag, but I don't have a lot of room over here. Um, so if I were to drag, I gotta act pretty quickly. But I got, uh, got everything set. Let's go. So quiet over here. The silence and solitude of this space is what attracts me to it the most. So there is a boat behind Little island. I see down the areas. Today for dinner is seven. Um, <clears throat> cooking it while at anchor by Garden Island. And it smells really good. It's um, marinated with uh, um, 
sauce I've been given by um, Kelly and Jim. Um, when they made the salmon was delicious. So I'm trying to replicate this now. Good morning from Garden Island. Beautiful day. Sun has come out. The anchor was holding pretty well. That's how I was dancing by the Garden Island. Coming back to Beaver Island a couple more nights. That's uh, Central Michigan University uh, research facility, the, red, the building with the red roof. It's a boathouse, really. There's the marker of the research facility. Central Michigan University. Rainy day on Beaver Island. It's still raining. There Two boats at anchor. And there is a new sailboat coming in to St. James Harbor. A moment ago he still had his jib out. Looks like they rolled it in. And I wonder if they're heading to the South Marina, but, but it's closed. Although there's one boat over one sailboat. So we'll see if he's gonna come here, if he will. I'm gonna help him out with the docking. Good morning. It's quarter to seven just took off from Beaver Island, heading to Leland, um, which is not far away, but it's going to take me the way I have to chide. Uh, right now I'm on Broad Ridge, and um, it's going to take me probably nine, ten hours. Um, so there was uh, from 15 to 17, true wind, um, cloudy, drizzling. Um, but other than that, it's great. So I'm passing Charlevoix, which is somewhere, somewhere in that direction. So now it's time for some reading. I'm actually reading uh, a book called On a Belt of Foaming Seas, Selling Solo Around the World Via the Three Great Capes in the 2018 Golden Globe Race. And it's about Tapio, I don't want to butcher his last name, so I'm not going not gonna to try to pronounce it. 
Um, uh, he's a Finnish guy. Uh, he's actually taking part in 2022 Golden Globe race. He's on his way. Last time I saw on a tracker, he was second. Um, that may have changed by now. Today is September 13th. Uh, overall, they had a pretty, pretty bad start. Uh, headwinds and, and uh, uh, washing machine seas. Um, but the book I started, I'm on 21st page right now. The book is really, really interesting. Um, so I recommend to uh, any sailors to read it. And that's it for now. So I'm still underway to Leland. Right over here, straight ahead. It's the cat head, cat head point. And over there, it's the Christmas Cove. Pretty cool. We have pretty good wind. I have nine knots. True wind. You have an apparent. Not too hot, not too cold. On pretty coast. Bunch of houses in the shoe. It's big dunes covered with trees. The eastern shore of Lake Michigan is much more interesting than the eastern. Almost in Leland, um, I did my final tag. Thus far, I traveled 647 nautical miles, quite a bit. And another sunset. Oh, that's so beautiful, always. This time all sails are out. Getting nice speed. In, in eight knots of true wind, I'm doing five five. Not bad for 12 ton boat. Sunset over North Manager. There's a pretty dune cliff right by Leland. It is Leland. There's the light night in the distance. You can probably see the uh, masts. The big red dot in the sky. Or I'm almost in Leland now. Uh, we are at the cove, so sometimes you can see the salmon jump up this dam, but apparently not now. And there's a pretty sunset. I'm ending the video in Leland. It's a beautiful old fishing town in Michigan. From this point I sailed back to Chicago with a friend of mine. I might make another video from the trip back. I hope you enjoyed the film and if so, please subscribe to support the channel. It is absolutely free and thank you for watching. Fair winds and following seas.